just give me a sec. Um, so we're going to go to this. We're going to go to this. Okay, so I'm going to turn off my chroma key. All right, hey, what's up, guys? So, it's Meridia. Uh, so I've gotten some questions uh, on um, on how to like start streaming DFO. Um, you know, people have been asking, uh, yeah, hey, Meridia, you know, I really want to get into streaming, you know, streaming looks really fun, you stream DFO a lot, so, you know, how can I, you know, how can I get into streaming? Well, this is essentially going to be, uh, for you. Um, uh, if you are interested in learning how to stream, um, or, you know, whatever, um, I'm going to pull up some sites, like, beforehand. Uh, and I'm going to be like introducing you to those, uh, like where you can download certain things and, uh, and stuff like that. Um, so the first, uh, the first link, the first thing I'm going to talk about is like, how do you stream? Um, and the, re the, the answer to that is you stream using open broadcast for software. Obviously you want to go onto Twitch. Because that's where DFO is m mostly streamed at, is on Twitch. Uh, so yeah, you want to do that. You want to go uh, onto Twitch and you want to make a profile. And uh, yeah, so after you do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually switch between two scenes here. You're gonna want to go to um, let me let me just do this. Let me close. I'm gonna close DFO. Let me close DFO for now. Okay. So what you want to do? is you want to go to obsproject.com that's going to look like i'm going to give you the actual link to the download um, oops and that's going to look like this essentially uh, i know you can't see anything right now give me one sec i'm going to do a display capture i'm going to call it monitor Okay, so this is OBS, and this is where you will download obsproject.com slash download. You want to get OBS Studio, okay? Make sure you get OBS Studio. Classic is okay, but you really want Studio because you can get this, the OBS plus browser source. This is what you want, okay? The browser source plugin is really, really nice, and it really helps out with, you know, uh, just stuff in general now uh, Here I've got my OBS set up here. We've got all these different scenes and stuff over here and Essentially what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, just Starting from scratch essentially now you do want it to you do want to uh, Have a profile set up. So my pro I already have a profile. It's just named Miri, right? Um, then what you want to do is you want to uh, you want to go to your Twitch, your Twitch dashboard, right? I'm streaming right now. So you want to go to your Twitch dashboard. That's right here. And you want to go to your stream key. So you want to click on that. Also, uh, I would totally recommend downloading uh, an app for the Chrome called Better Twitch TV or BT, uh, BTTV, Better Twitch TV, right? Go download that. You can get this really cool dark uh, overlay thing, dark mode for Twitch. And it's really nice. It's really easy on the eyes. So you want to go to your stream key. I'm not going to show it because that's really important sensitive information. If anyone has your stream key, they can stream on your account. Um, so if, you, if you're running like, you know, if you want multiple people to stream on your account, which I don't mind, uh, and I, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of open to that. Um, uh, you can do that. You can, you know, you can have people, multiple people stream on your account, but obviously like only one can be online at the same time. Yeah. Whew. Anyway, after you've gotten your stream key, you want to go back into OBS and you want to go to file. Or actually, you want to just go into your settings, right? You want to go into your settings. You, you want to go to stream. Everything in here is going to be uh, different for you. But you want to go into Twitch. Select the server that's closest to you. For me, that's Chicago. You want to put your stream key in there and then you're good to go. After that, you go to output, and this is where uh, this is where things get really complicated. Okay, now I have pretty decent internet. I have about uh, the the only 
type of internet that really matters. The only type of internet that, internet that really matters is your upload speed. Your upload speed for streaming is the most important thing, uh, as well as your your uh, processor. If you don't have a processor that is at least 3.5 gigahertz uh, speed wise, you're not going to be able to stream. Well, okay, you might be able to stream at 720p 60 fps, but it'll really depend on like I don't know. I think it just really depends on your processor. That's the most important thing and your, your upload. So depending on if you have at least 2,500 upload, so 2,500 kilobits or 2.5 megabytes per second upload speed. Um, that's, you know, the settings that you can use. That's the settings I use for streaming. Um, now, if you want to stream at a lower quality, that's totally okay. Let's say you don't have godlike, you know, good internet or whatever. Uh, uh, a low, you know, low quality stream would be like, Maybe uh, maybe 1,000 or you know 800 uh, bit rate, and then you would do like uh, like 360p or 480p. So uh, the way you would do that was you would just go to your video, and then you would go to uh, this output scaled resolution, and you would uh, you would change that to whatever it is. Um, so you would change it to 480 or 360 depending on your, you know, your upload speed and your CPU and stuff like that. Now, uh, some other stuff that you're going to want to take advantage of. Uh, if you want to record stuff, you can do that. Uh, you can always record in uh, MP4 uh, for me. Don't record in Flash. Flash video sucks. Uh, editing software does not like Flash video. All right, now let's see what the chat's saying. Uh, this guy, Toast. Asked me, uh, he wants to record record high level content like Anton. If you want to do Anton, man, like go ahead, do Anton. It's really fun. Uh, the server location. What about it? What about the server location? Hold on, I'm gonna exit out and move OBS. So yeah, you want to move. Uh, you want to change your server location so that it's at the closest. You're in Norway. Uh, see, I'm not 100% sure on, like, where you would go, and I can't change it right now. If you want to download OBS and test it for yourself, you can just go to this OBS project, whatever, download. Um, remember to select OBS Studio, and then wh whatever operating system you have. So if you have Mac or Linux, you would select that. I have Windows, and this is, uh, I'm using OBS Studio. You want to grab the browser source, just, to, that's just a quick recap. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's start, uh, let's just say we have a new scene, right? So you're going to go into your thing, into your, uh, profile, right? And you want to click add a scene. So we would make one for dungeon fighter, right? Make one for DFO, right? So now we would just add, uh, whoops. Uh, so after we do that, we would, hold on. Uh, where is it? Okay. So. What you would do after that is you would just click add and then you would go down to uh like game capture or window capture now this is important um this is really important if you're playing dfo and you're playing in windowed mode um you're gonna have to do some cropping some alt cropping now that's not that difficult and i'll show you how to do it uh, let's say you start up dfo right so we're going to start up DFO. I'm going to do that for a sec so you guys don't see all my information. So I'm going to log into DFO, right? And we're going to we're going to start up DFO and you're going to hear the really loud Neopole thing whatever, right? Uh maybe maybe sweet like whatever's closest to you deadline. Whatever's closest to you, man. Um yeah. Yo, whatever's closest to you. Deadline wants to know. Deadline's from Norway and he wants to know. Wow, that's really loud. I'm sorry about that. Deadline wants to know. He's from Sweden. And he wants to do... Uh, he wants to, like, start streaming. So we're going to help him out. So he doesn't know. Like, you just, whatever's closest to you, man. Probably Sweden, honestly. Anyway, so we're going to get back into this. Um, so we have DFO set up. I'm going to enter in the game really quick. And then I'm going to change my... Uh, see, I play DFO full screen because I, it just feels better. Like, I, if I play a game, I want it to be full screen, you know what I mean? So I don't have any other any other distractions. So that's, pers that's my personal preference. 
Now, uh, so we're in DFO, you can hear the music. I'm actually gonna mute the music. Um, so we're gonna mute the music. Sorry, I love the music in DFO. Anyway, so we're gonna change it to 800 by 600 window, right? So uh, this is what happens normally when you, uh, when you, okay, so we're gonna turn on monitor capture. I'm in the game, right? You guys can see the window. Now this is what happens when you go into OBS and you click add game capture and then you uh, you would just put DFO, uh, I'm gonna put DFO, ASDF, whatever. Uh, and then we would just, you would uncheck capture any full screen application and then you just click DFO, right? And so what should happen, nope, see it didn't work. So what we do, you just click, right click that. If it doesn't work, then you click properties and then you just change it to this, whatever this is. And so if that doesn't work, which it doesn't, you would just, uh, you would just click this, press delete, and then you would just delete that. So since that doesn't work, you have to do, uh, click the plus sign right here, go to uh, window capture, now we're going to name it DFO, and then here, this is what happens. Oh wow, there's two multiple, there's uh, separate windows, that's really interesting, I didn't know that. Okay, so I guess they, I guess OBS is like, it's, it's, it's very nice. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to, you can move this around, so uh, this is what we have right now, right? Um, now, unfortunately, when you make this really big, uh, it doesn't take up the full screen, which sucks. Uh, you're not going to be able to do much about this, to be perfectly honest. Uh, if you play in windowed mode, because it's not taking up the entire screen. Obviously, the, the nothing is like stretched or anything like that, so like, the image isn't stretched, and uh, you know everything. Everything looks pretty cool. Everything looks nice, but uh, you can't. It's not gonna look, it's not, you're gonna have these black bars on the side and there's not much that you can do about it. You could try and make the screen bigger, like make it bigger, but then like when you do that, you know, half the screen gets cut off. So that's not good, you don't want that. So uh, for all of you that play in windowed mode, um, that's something that you're gonna have to deal with, unfortunately. Now, if you play in full screen or in windowed full, like I do, so we go to settings, and we change it to window full, now, if, now, if, if, now I can go back to this and I can do, let's do this. Okay. So we're going to go to add game capture. Whoops. Sorry. That didn't work. Remember add window capture and then add existing. Since I already have one set up, I just add DFO. So, uh, now DFO is on top of the monitor capture, right? So DFO is on top. Uh, so what that means is it's going to go over. You won't be able to see if I move this up by clicking the up arrow. See it disappears and you click the down arrow and it reappears. This is useful for layering different uh, applications like your camera and stuff like that. Now, uh, uh, so now you're probably thinking, okay, Meridia, is that it? Am I done? Well, um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, there's some other cool things you can get, which I will actually be showing you in this video, uh, such as, 